Ryan Steinecker with Coach Glenn Smith of the Rich High School track and field team. Coach, thanks for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been a little while. We haven't even talked track and field yet, but coincidentally, you haven't had a meet yet because of the weather, right? Yeah, the weather's been pretty rough, and we've been able to get outside a little bit with the runners, and the throwers have been thrown in the snow, so it's been a challenge so far this year. What color are the shot put balls? I mean, is that at least you can find them in the snow, right? Well, sometimes, as long as they don't get buried too far. <laughs> So uh, you've been able to get outside a bit, you said, though, but this is kind of how it is for you guys each spring. You're outside sometimes, you're inside quite a bit. Yeah, it just depends on the year. Some years we're out a little more than other years, and this is one of the years that we're not able to get out quite as much because of the snow that's on, on the ground. What have you seen so far as far as like participation and how the kids are working out, You know, what kind of effort they're putting in so far? The kids are putting in good effort. Uh, we've got uh, about... 15 boys out and then we've got 21 or 22 girls out and so number wise we've got you know quite a few kids out you feeling good about that those numbers and and that kind of thing yeah I think numbers wise we're doing well and when we get to a track meet we can kind of see a little bit more on how where they're going to stack up in the state and time wise and things like that can I put you on the spot do you remember how things went last year how'd you guys finish out girls and boys yeah the boys finished I think seventh and then the girls finished I believe fifth last year overall as team. Do you have a lot returning? I remember, you know, on the, like on the boys, Ken and Clark, the high jump did really well at state and things like that. But who do you have returning that helped you earn some points last year for both teams? Uh, well, for the boys, we don't have a lot returning. There, a lot of them are freshmen and sophomores this year, so we're going to be young on that end. We will have Logan Johnson. He's our only senior boy that's doing track. And then on the girls' side, we have, I believe, six girls that, that are returning from last year. And so we should farewell better on the girls and the boys this weekend on the schedule rock springs that that's kind of up in the air at this point with the way the weather is or at least what the forecast is saying uh yeah so we're planning on going and we hope it's good weather it'll be an opportunity for us to get times on all the kids and distances on the, for the throwers and the field events so uh, we're looking forward to it and hopefully they'll be able to hold the meet and we'll be able to get some uh, times and distances on the kids it's early, and maybe you haven't even worried about this at this point, but are you? is there any concern about like state qualifying meets where you can get those you know qualifying times and throws and things like that? There is a little bit, but generally speaking, when we get to region, we can qualify most of the kids. They take the top five from our region to state, and so we should be able to qualify a lot of kids at region. And so as far as meeting the state qualifying marks, of course, we want the kids to meet that and we want them to do their best, but uh, we can get them to state right now in, in at region. Anything else we should touch on, Coach? Nope, we're just excited for another track season. Glenn Smith, track and field coach at Rich High School, thanks for your time and good luck getting to Rock Springs this week. Thanks, appreciate it.